Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you all are doing fine. I am Priyabrat. I welcome you to the next video which is on grape. Grape is a very very powerful command in Linux that uh, you know we should gain skills of you know uh, learning um, different commands that we can use uh, in grape and it's widely used for filtering and you know, finding patterns so that's where uh, this video is all about and yeah so what does grape do grape is nothing but uh, you know globally it search a regular expression or you know any pattern and it prints it okay that's the full form of grape uh, so basically it is commonly used to uh, filter a file or any input uh, it will you know parse uh, you know loop over line by line and checks whether that given pattern is present or not and if it presents basically it will uh, print that line particularly so that's where it is used to filter okay so anything you want to filter it so grep is uh, used okay so we will see that uh, in this uh, video so let's start um, so basically the syntax is uh, simple uh, you type grep and uh, you know you what you want to search in the file uh, let's say that's the pattern and we can control it with you know various options so for example in this example let's say uh, we will be taking uh, this data set data dot tsv this is the my file and where i want to search a pattern let's say chr11 so basically this pattern will be searched against this file and only those lines which will uh, contain chr11 those only will uh, be printed out okay so we'll see this uh, one by one uh, okay so let's take this example that i have uh, this is my file that we will be using in this example and basically this is the serial numbers and the chromosome start and strand and the gene name okay so this is my very simple file so let's say i want to uh, filter all you know let's say uh, let's say chromosome 12 okay and uh, and you give the my pattern is in single quote i have given and then you give the file so basically these three lines will be filtered out and we can give even you know double quotes as well okay so it will be uh, double quote is very important if we have some variable already declared uh, and you know it grep can interpret that okay so uh, you can give single quote and double quote but they have a different meaning uh, and we if like we can even you know skip uh, also okay so the same things will happen so that's where either you know we can give do not give anything or give single quote and double quote but single and double quote has different uh, meaning double quote can interpret uh, you know the, any shell variable already there we may see you know uh, that okay so now we can write in other way so here we have explicitly passing the file but instead we can uh, you know pass the data directly as a stream and you know uh, do like this okay so the same thing so this results is piped to the grep command so here directly the command is taking the input from uh, this file so two way we can uh, you know use grep so now let's uh, try uh, to play with uh, different options first is very simple uh, so in this case we want to simply count how many uh, pattern got hit right so basically uh, you simply use the flag hyphen c it will not give uh, the output simply it will give how many hits you got okay so this is a very easy way to quickly search how many plus positive strand or how many negative strand is there so then i can give a uh, you know a pattern like this is many positive strand is there and you know this many negative strand is there like that okay so let's say example like you want to calculate how many uh, mitochondrial genes are there and basically the genes are starts with empty uh, hyphen so the my pattern would be now okay empty then hyphen so this is the genes so basically three genes are there and if i remove uh, the c you can see the those three genes right so th this these are the three mitochondrial gene and again if you want to search for link genes so you can type link so there are three link genes are there so we can give hyphen c to just get their count okay so there are three link genes are there okay so now next flag is uh, n n is just you know it will print me the line number as well so i want to now uh, know in which line they are present so basically it will tell me it is present in 16th 18th and 27th line uh, contains my data 
Similarly, I want to find where my mitochondrial genes are there in the data. So, you type, so that means line number 40, 41 and 42. So, that contains the mitochondrial genes. Okay. And you can give, let us say, chromosome 12 genes where they are. So, they are present in 7, 8, 9 like that. So, hyphen C is for count and hyphen N will give the line number along with the output as well. Okay. So, now uh, hyphen V is like inverted. So, that means whatever is not matched, you want to return it. So, for example, here I want to search. So, this will give me the mitochondrial gene. And this is just invert. I am just, you know, not mitochondrial genes. I means don't, whatever is matched, skip that and print me everything else. So, that's the invert case. So, this is sometimes very useful. So, let's say I want to, uh, you know, only positive strand genes I want. Okay. So, I will get the positive strand genes only. All right. So, that way hyphen B is just to invert matching. Now, uh, this is a very important parameter and sometimes people do the mistakes here. Uh, let us say if I want to search chromosome 1, okay. Let me show you first. Uh, so, CHR1. So, what happened? You see along with chromosome 1, right, I also got chromosome 10, 11, 12, everything because CHR1 is present here. So, how can you restrict that? So, then you can give this option, you know, uh, hyphen W. Basically, this is whole word. So, means it is like word wise search it will do. So, in that case it will only search uh, every word in the file where CHR1 or that pattern is matching or not. Okay. So, forces the pattern to match an entire word. Okay. This is a very important flag that you can use. Okay. So, next option is like I is for ignore case uh, like that let us say I want to search uh, you know empty. So, I am getting this, but if I searched, you know, let us say small empty, it will, I will not get anything. Okay, but if I give a flag <coughs> I, so this will match because I am saying like case insensitive search. Okay, so we saw <coughs> hyphen C, N and I and W as well. So, now let us uh, use, you know, P, capital P is for, you know, regular expression. We can now using this hyphen P option, you can, you know, complex regular expression we can give. Okay. So, let us hypothetically, I will what the data what we have is a basic GTF file uh, uh, like gene transcript file where uh, each row consists uh, contains the gene information. So, let us say in this example data that we will be using the gene ID is present here. This is the ensemble gene ID and we want to fetch this information. So, how to match it? So, the pattern what I will be using ENSG followed by the digits. So, digits in Perl, we in a regular expression, we denote them as slash D, you know, then plus means like one or more digit. So, this will go up to this, then followed by a dot and then uh, followed by another digit. So, that is where dot I have escaped because there is explicitly dot is present. So, I have to escape that, then slash D. So, is for another digit. So, this is my pattern. So, this if you do not give P flag, Perl flag, you cannot, uh, you know, write it using you know it is very difficult to find that pattern or construct the regular expression so i want to do that so let's try that and for that uh, with the file what we'll be using is gencode gene gtf so this is my file i have prepared for uh, you know gencode gene gtf so this is my file so here all the you know gencode genes are there and uh, so let's say i want to filter it right so use grep and my pattern is ensg followed by digit. So, let us see what will happen. You will let us say best table go. So, you see ENSG came, right? So, now I will do, I will do slash D, okay. So, if I give only one digit, okay. So, I have to now give uh, hyphen P, very important because uh, slash D is not there, right? But if I moment give P, means now Grab will understand that, oh, okay, user is now using the Perl based regular expression. And according to the slash day means a digit. So, you see now this will match to after ENSG, it will match to only the one digit. Okay. If I now, okay, press plus, it means more than one digit. So, now only this is missing, right? So, if you do not want version, then uh, this is fine. Okay. And if you want uh, along with the transcript version as well, so you can see dot, then you can give one more digit here. Okay, you can give plus as well. Okay, so this way now 
this is matching so all these line are now matched with the uh, this thing okay so now this is the beauty of you know pearl based regular expression that you can use in a grip but now if you want just this only whatever is matched you want that so for that you can give a flag called o okay o it just means uh, whatever is matched give me that so that's the output so you see easily we can we could extract the gene uh, id from here okay so that's what i have uh, like minus hyphen o P is for use pearl based regex and O is just return the matched output. So now uh, another option that we can play is like A and B. A is means like after whatever is matched after how many lines you want to print and B is for before. So let's say uh, take an example. Let us switch back to our you know uh, the same old data. Okay, so this is my data. So let's say I want to match with, you know, uh, insensitive, uh, let's say WALSH. Okay, so this is the gene uh, is matched 7P and 8P. Okay, so now, okay, otherwise I will explicitly uh, only one. Okay, see, this is the, uh, my gene is matched. But now I want before one, after one as well print. Okay, so what I have to do, my hyphen, a1 so after that one line it will print me so if i want a2 means after two lines will be printed similarly i want b1 means before also one line will be printed so this is a very useful way of you know uh, uh, like uh, finding uh, you know uh, finding what um, like before and after any pattern you match. So let's take an example. I think we have, let's say you want to convert a FASTA file into a FASTQ file to a FASTA. So how we can do? So I have a FASTQ file. Okay. So this demo.fastq. So see, this is, you must be familiar. Uh, like each FASTQ has four lines, right? The first line starts with at the rate followed by a header, then the sequence, then plus, then quality information, then the second read like that. So let's say I want to convert this fast queue into FASTA. So easily, how can I do it? So let's try this. So first I have to grab anything that starts with at the rate. See, these are the three See, header I got it. Then simply I have to tell after this, you print only one line. Okay, cool. So you see, this is now printed, right? So now, but what happens the A1 and B, it uh, also, you know, prints uh, the grip you know uh, uh, put you know uh, double hyphen you know the output separator by default so you have to remove that so what i can do now grip hyphen hyphen so i have to escape this because this is a special character and i say uh, don't ex means exclude this because that's why the v is inverted match so if i do this now you see i could now get removed those hyphen hyphen right so now we have the first and followed by the A1. Then this header, A1 like that. So now just one thing I have to do now, substitute this at the rate with, you know, uh, uh, let's say greater than. So then I can simply use uh, said, uh, but yes, said is not part of this, but I'm just showing you, uh, uh, like, you know, starting at the rate. Okay, then, yeah. And with what, uh, greater than, right? So you see, at the rate is now substituted with that. So this is a now faster sequence we got it. So this is a very easy way of converting a fast queue file to a faster sequence, okay, using grep and set. But you got an idea like A1, uh, how to use a uh, huge case like uh, A1 and B1 could be useful uh, example. And yeah, so let's say L uh, option is like, uh, so this is a file. So I want to search anywhere this file, uh, TSB file is there. I want to search, let's say CHR, okay. Okay, so I can give one or more files, star.txt. So, okay, let's let it be like this. So this is the only file where, you know, I have uh, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the CHR is present. So hyphen L will give the list, the file names that contains the pattern. Okay, not file names, for content, my bad, it's not file names, list the file names. 
which is this name containing that pattern okay so that way we can use this hyphen l option okay uh, yeah last can you try this example okay so fetching the gene name okay so this is little <coughs> complicated okay so let's try to do that how to extract this one okay but it, uh, grape cannot do this we have to use uh, said as well okay but let's <coughs> try i'll show you let's uh, our example is what this one right i want to extract the gene name so let's go by one by one okay grape i'll give pearl because that's very useful then gene underscore name so okay then i give a single space then followed by dot star okay so now you see it what it did it matched from here up to last okay so now i'll just give o to just extract that matched that red one which is matched one right so cool now i got the output <coughs> basically now i'll do the trick using you know split this data using column so i can use other parameter called cut then i can give a uh, now let me just bring it down to the top so i can give cut minus delimiter is you know a semicolon and then f1 so basically cut will cut this data and at the semicolon and f1 means the first field after cut we will get it so, okay so let's try this so now we can easily got it so now we can again cut this and using space and again choose f2 so now you see the second we can got it so now the next thing what i have to do is i just have to remove the quotation right double quote so use said to delete so this quote and use global so this way now you see i could easily extract uh, the gene name from the gt file so i had to use the gene name followed by everything and uh, use o to just you know that part fetch it and then cut it to two to times then remove the double quote so this way using various uh, you know command like said or grape these are the thick cut these are the powerful uh, you know command linux if you learn then using which you can easily do lot many things in the you know uh, by informatics file format processing kind of thing okay so last option before you know wrapping it up uh, let me show you the option called hyphen apps sometimes so far what we have seen like we have uh, you know uh, we have one data like you are using this one pattern on the command right let's say chr12 like this but how what i have a file called gene list.txt okay gene list.txt so all my pattern are here so i'm asking grape that you take all my pattern and search one by one and match it so basically very simply i have to give hyphen f then you give what the pattern is there in this file and you are searching against this data so what happened what happened sorry uh, not this data in the uh, gen code right gen code underscore So basically what i'm telling in this gtf file search all my gene list okay and give me the content so you see okay uh, this i got it easily right so all these genes it is matched and i got it okay so we can also further give hyphen w to uh, just only exact match not anywhere so earlier it was matching here and there right so you can play around those options as well to uh, get it so that's all i think uh, about it so you can further read uh, about grape and using this manual and so many other options are that whenever you are stuck you can uh, use some options as i state i showed p for pearl regular expression and uh, f option we saw like you know giving a file pattern i for ignoring case then v for invert match the like opposite one w is like you know exact that word wise match we saw 
and we can we saw that count option and minus l is the list those files which does the matching and uh, okay so this is an m option i did i forgot to mention i will explain that m option and then uh, okay o we saw only no matching one we give and some other extra options also we can minus n is for to print the line number uh, and other things we can you know play around okay so a b we saw okay yeah so uh, i'll just uh, wrap it up uh, giving m option so you see this our example right uh, let's let me show you grape uh, chr 12 so what is happening let's say three matches you are getting but sometimes you only want top uh, only two hits okay so i can see that maximum you match you know two times this in this file chr12 will be searched and uh, m equal to miss give me only the two output after that you stop searching so that way i am controlling so uh, there is no need for this this is a very use case useful case whether it is present or not that's all you want to search so basically you have a uh, now big file 100 mb file uh, and you want to search for a pattern and whether it is present or not that's your objective so in that case minus m1 only you give right so that means the, for the first search uh, it is matched it will come out so that way you will know that okay that it is there or not okay so you do not need to further scan down the file and search entire thing okay so that's all I had in this video grape. So we talked a lot of important flags uh, in, you know, uh, grape and using which we can, uh, we saw some examples, complex examples as well. And yeah, that's all I had in this uh, video. I hope uh, this video was useful to you. I stated, uh, like, you know, I will be at the end, uh, like, uh, like ox, said, grape, you know, cut find these are the com command we will be using and i will showcase some you know uh, huge cases uh, using which uh, complex things can be solved uh, yeah so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, please uh, like if you like the video <coughs> and share among your network i hope this video was useful uh, thank you for your time okay bye bye